Hello, this is David Soto. Uh, I just want to go over real quick how to place a trade using binary options. Um, in this demonstration, we are going to uh, use a currency pair, Euro USD. There are different currency pairs that you can select from in here, and you can play around if you want. I would select um, some of the major currency pairs like Euro USD or USD JPY. Um, anything paired with JPY or USD is very popular. Um, but Single so Euro USD for right now, and um, since it's one of the major currency pairs, right? And then over here, you have what's called expiry times, right? Um, you got to look at the, what the current time is, and it doesn't really show on this platform what the current time is, but um, I created it down here um, called trading time, right? I created the clock, and it's 9.49 a.m., which Trading time is uh, uh, called GMT, which is stands for Greenwich Mean Time, and um, or Universal Time, and it's just the generic time for the world clock. Okay, and trading time is 9:49 a.m. I set that up the same thing as London, and right now I'm gonna say this option expires at 10 o'clock. 9:45 probably will not be available. If I click on that. Actually, it is still available. I oh, know it's not. All right. No, see, it's not even available. So 10 o'clock is the next available expiry time. And it's almost 10 till. So when this thing hits uh, five minutes till, that will expire. I will not be able to close the trade. It's too close to the expiry time. All right. So I could wait and see what this market is going to do. If I look at this graph right here, in the last... 30 40 minutes this thing has been steadily going up right and um over here we can bet how much you know how much we want to get uh the minimum is 25 dollars and that's what i'm going to bet for now but you can bet as much as you want as long as it's more than 25. um over here in the calculator tools you got bollinger bands moving average rsi which i've already showed in the last video and um as long as they coincide with the you know, trader's choice, you're in good hands. I'm going to go ahead and click real quick each one of these just to confirm that the trader's choice is still accurate. I'm, I'm sure it is, but let's just see. Oh, shoot. That is saying call is going to go up now, which makes sense because it looks like it's been going up. All right, and if I go to moving average, let's see what the moving average says. Call, and it's going up. Well, that's two out of three indicators here. And a little calculator tool. All right, so next is RSI, which stands for Real Strength Index, or Relative Strength Index, rather. The relative strength index just um, gives a real good measure of the market. And if it's being overbought or oversold, there are good other videos on RSI. And this is being called also. So it looks like it's going to go up despite what the trader's choice says. Now, usually I go by the trader's choice, you know, first. I look at the trader's choice, see which one is a stronger indication if it's going to go down in the red or it's going to go up in the green. And here it looks like 53% of people are saying it's going to go down. But these three indicator tools here are saying it's going to go up. And if you look at the graph, it has steadily been going up over the last like you know, 45 minutes or so. So I'm going to go, I'm going to follow my instinct and say, well, I'm going to follow the trend. It's going up, right? And I'm going to place a few of these trades going up. Now, this is just you know pretend money so I'm not risking any real money but this will just give you a good feeling of what's going to happen all right now the market could just crash and I could lose everything all right but hopefully hopefully this right here is going to continue to go up over the next 10 minutes or so and you know seven minutes actually because I got like three four minutes left before it expires 
And then you come down here and use your expired position, sorry. And then you click on open positions right here. And you see the active right here. So you got position ID. Don't really worry about that too much. Um, it just tells you, you know, um, what you, where you get position. This is your, your currency pair. This is the strike rate. This is the price you entered at. at we, the point in time when you actually hadn't clicked the button to purchase that. So it's going to vary. These are all pretty close to one another. Um, you can see right here that these ones at the top here were a little bit lower. And um, they got in a lower rate. But you can see a bit up. And all these are dropping. And price is going down. And then the color here is red. Red means I'm losing. If the color is green, it will be a light shade of green. That means I'm winning. If it's blank, if it's like gray, like it is right there, that means it's um, neutral. It means I'm not winning. It means a tie. If it's a tie like it is right here, that means I'm not going to win or lose. They're just going to give me my money back. If I lose, what's going to happen is $25, I bet, I'm going to lose the whole entire amount. If I win, I'm going to win 83%, which is going to be $20.75. So technically, it takes two wins for every loss. And you're going to lose money eventually. And there's no way in the world you're going to win every time. Right now, I'm, you know, I'm losing money. Um, it kind of, I hate to see myself losing money, but it's just how it is, right? And I'm going to try and pause this video and then come right back to it in a few minutes, okay? Okay, I'm back now, and I only have about 30 seconds left before the these options expire all right and you can see jumping up and down I got the graph right here for the euro USD and it is actually starting to go back up and um, you know keep in mind that trader choice showing 53% say the market's going to go down so more people are betting that the market's going to go down right now but because I used the various trading tools that come with the platform they all agreed the market was going to go up. So right now I'm in the green. And oh, my options just expired. So I think that means I won. Let me click expired. Click expired positions right here. It may take a few seconds for it to update. So right now it's showing everything lost. I'm on page one. Make sure you're on page one. All right. It takes a few seconds for it to update. We'll go back to um, open positions again. Let me click expire to see if it's updated. All right, so there we go. One, two, three, four. I just had four wins. And I bet $25 on each trade. And I won $20.75. So, you know, that's about $83 I just made in a matter of like seven minutes. Um, pretty awesome. You can win a lot of money really quick. That's what's so popular about binary options. But at the same time, look at this. I lost 25, 25, 25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 25. That's $150. You know, I lost in the same amount of time. Now I turn around and win, you know, $83. I could have placed more trades. So I could have won that money right back. In just a matter of a few minutes. So, you know, it's win some, you lose some. The goal is to get better and better every day and consistently win. You're going to lose. There's no way around it. I haven't seen anybody yet that's perfect, but at least not in person. But I'm not sure it exists. But the thing is, just um, practice every day and you'll get better and better, okay? Have a good day.